Michael. Mm -hmm. You know, there is something special about an old watch, and there is always a story behind it. Mike McArdle has the last word tonight on a watch, a Vancouver hero, and an act of bravery we should never forget. Oh, it gives me goosebumps. Robert is about to get back something he lost hmm. long, long ago. Hmm. It started in a crazy way, a fluke, kind of, in a pub. Constable Don Tim Titian was at, uh, on his days off at a local pub uh, having a beer and overheard a friend of his, Soren, talking about this watch that belonged to uh, Constable McBeef. I heard something about a watch and McBeef, and I just thought, what? And he said, there is no... Uh, History tried to look up the history of this watch because nobody seems to know about it. So. Don told the keepers of the memorial to those who have been killed on duty about what he had heard about a watch that had belonged to Robert McBeath. There were few men like him, ever. In World War I, he lied about his age. He was 16. He said he was 18. He went to war, and while he was still a teenager, he attacked a machine gun nest by himself. He silenced the gun and the enemy. Then he attacked another machine gun nest and defeated it. Then, by himself, he followed enemy soldiers into a tunnel. They thought they were being attacked by a large force. They surrendered to a teenager. He won the Victoria Cross. The American equivalent is the Medal of Honor. There is no higher award. After the war, he moved to Vancouver and joined the police department. On a chilly October night, he stopped a car for going erratically on Granville Street. The driver shot him at point-blank range. Robert McBeath was 23. Soren's father was a watchmaker. He had had the watch in his possession for 30 years before he died. They don't know where he got it. Yeah. Soren and his sister were given a ride on a police boat named in honor of the murdered policeman. And I have something for you. Here it is, so you can open it. It's called a half hunter. Mm -hmm. And if you open up the front. And to one of the city's best chiefs of police ever, he gave the watch which belonged to one of the city's best policemen ever. But before that, Soren returned the watch to the man who had carried it with him until he lost everything. I'm really happy. I'm, I'm happy that I could bring his watch to him again. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm kind of choked up about it. Mike McCardle, CTV News. The last.